Mr. President? Yes, sir. How are you, Mr. President? I'm just doing fine. I hope you are. Oh, yes, I'm doing pretty good. How's Ms. Eisenhower? Oh, it's fine. We're leaving for California tomorrow night. Is that right? Lady Bird and I wanted to talk to you and tell you we just sure hope you could come to the inauguration and uh, if we could do anything to make arrangements or anything for you, we'd love to do it and uh, make you, uh, if, if it's possible, make you as comfortable as it could. And, uh, uh, we want you to come see everything you want to see and nothing you, that, you, that you didn't want to see. Maybe you've had too many of them. <laughs> no, Miss President, you're very kind. But, you see, Mamie won't travel except by... Uh, train. Train. Now, to come back all the way just after we'd gotten out there and we had her getting our children out for the holidays. Yes. It would be quite a burden on her, well, and I think it would just be unwise. For well, her. I, 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 wouldn't know, I wouldn't want you to do anything that would take any energy. Much resistance. Well, I, and, I, uh, so when I get her quiet, please where she can be quiet while I try to keep her pretty steady there. Well, there's not anything I want more than uh, than for both of you to conserve all you have. So you'll be with us, be with us as long as everything. I just want you to know that we both uh, would feel uh, mighty pleased and happy if you uh, if you felt like that you were here. Well, I can't tell you how deeply appreciated I appreciate it. Why are you on the phone? I'd like to tell you about an incident. Good. Um, I, um, was, uh, out at, at uh, Hershey at a meeting with uh, the Republicans doing the last campaign. Yes. And, uh, it was a pretty nice meeting at trying to, to get uh, things on the rails and something constructive and so on. Yes. Uh, where we could all support. Well, anyway, it turned out that there was a reporter there. Now, he, um, apparently gave to Newsweek or some other darn organization a statement which purported to be a, um, a quote from me, in which I said we all had to unify, and that was true. We had to do our best to, put it to, to win, because that's what Republicans are out for. And then said, he put on and throw out this communistic form of government we have in Washington. <laughs> now, never in my life have uh, I accused anybody or any organization in the United States of being communist. I, I know I that. never go into this business of uh, criticizing and trying to, uh, by exaggeration, to express my disapproval of something. I know that. So this is so, I tell you, I called up, uh, <laughs> I called up everybody I could find. <laughs> just because, I know this can't hurt you, but it can hurt me terribly. Uh, in my own uh, mind, see, if I could ever, if people could think me guilty of saying such a damn thing, you see? Nobody thinks you guilty of anything except the very best motives and the best uh, uh, judgments that you're capable of exercising. And long as, uh, long as I'm here, uh, there's nobody going to have more respect or really more affection than, than you. And you can just be sure of that. And I never read it, and if I had read it, I wouldn't have paid a damn better thing. I think I'd probably stop this thing, but I told him. I said, if this man writes this thing, whatever I can do to discredit him and the public, I'm going to do. I said, I've never taken off on somebody, but I'm not going to have this kind of thing said, because after all, uh, you know, I tell you, you have personal uh, friendship and admiration without agreeing on some political policy, and I'm certainly never going to <laughs> say anything that would imply that kind of a thing about the administration you had. I know that. Well, we... we uh we're in different parties, but we're for the same country, and uh, we may have different approaches. I don't think many. I served under you eight years, and I didn't find it very uncomfortable. I didn't find that I was very incompatible, and I found myself down there on the front row voting for your recommendations a good many times when uh, Republican leaders were on the back row fighting them. And uh, I, uh, I find myself pretty comfortable with you, and uh, I don't. I haven't ever found it necessary to to say anything personal about you or anything about your program. And uh, I talked to uh, Milton a good deal. He started out with me when I was a kid congressman, and he, he got me my first nationwide broadcast uh, uh, over radio. And oh, yeah. So we're in pretty good close touch, and Bob Anderson calls me every week or so, and they help me, and you just uh, pay no attention to... I, I just 
just didn't want you to. They're not ever going to, they're not going to divide us. You can make, you can fight a good Republican fight, and I'll do my best, but we'll both be for the country when the chips are down, and I want your advice and your suggestions and your recommendations and your judgment without uh, bothering you and without being a pest every time I can. I think you've earned a little rest, and I'm not going to drag you in uh, to get any chestnuts out of the fire unless they really get my tail in a crack internationally, and when I do, I'm going to come running. Well, thank you very much, Mr. President, and I am most deeply appreciated as you suggest. Thank you, Mr. President. It's only because of my concern for naming strength and health. I understand that. I understand that. And if it were if it were something besides just ceremony and I had to have you, I'd, uh, I'd tell you. But I just want you to know it. We would be happy. Thank you. Bye. Uh, please say my uh, warm and uh, affectionate greetings to, uh, to Lady Bird. Sure will. Thank you. Bye.